What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we're back with more Funko news, including new drops, some leaks, first looks, and more. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and happy Sunday to you. So today we do have some Funko News updates for you, though this video might be going out a little later tonight just because I did catch up on some sleep. I've been very busy cleaning up the house for family coming on top of the fact that I've been running a second channel lately and that takes up a lot more time because there's a lot more editing involved in that channel. And if you guys want to check that out, it is just called Skittle Rampage Reviews where I just do a bunch of different anime content over there. And the reason I'm bringing that all up is just because I've seen a lot of comments of people saying that I do look tired and hopefully I'm getting enough sleep. I am in a sense of I'm also just trying to build another channel right now so it's just taking up so much of my time. So I'm not sleeping a lot lately but I'm also used to not sleeping a lot lately, so don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just busy doing stuff, I suppose. Anyways, though, let's continue on with the video. We do have our question of the day, and that is, can you name a Funko Pop keychain in your collection? And I have a pocket pop here of Groot and Onesie. Now, starting off with some new things that we do have. First up, we do have a new Amazon exclusive flocked Espeon here. So basically just flocked of the common. This one is set to release later on. It has not gone live yet, so don't worry, you didn't miss it. And if you guys are interested, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll most likely be posting when it is live over on my Instagram. Now, speaking of Amazon exclusives, I did want to give you an update on Admiral Akbar here. So we do have an image of him with the Amazon exclusive sticker. And I'm just letting you guys know that this one will be an Amazon exclusive. So for anybody interested, stay tuned. Still has not gone live yet, but it has gone live overseas so far. So we should see it drop in the US pretty soon here. Over on the Funko shop, we did have a recent drop and that was Rip Wheeler from Yellowstone. This one did not sell out and it's still available if you need it. And speaking of the Funko shop, I did want to let you know that they're currently having a sale right now that does end tonight, so you can take advantage of it if you did want to. And that is spend $75, save $15, spend $100, save $25, and spend $200 and save $60. And I would say that $200 mark is probably your best deal there possible. So if you guys want to head over to the Funko shop and see if you need anything, it might be worth it because you could save some money. On top of the fact that you will also be earning those fan rewards points, so you can use those points to save even more money down the line. Now here's another Funko shop drop for tomorrow over on Funko. Funko Europe, and that is going to be Armored Luffy. Funko Europe tweeted this out saying, yes, that Armored Luffy, 8 a.m. BST tomorrow. Now, why they put a image of Gear 2nd kind of confused me at first. I was like, is it going to be a Gear 2nd drop or an Armored Luffy drop? It should be Armored Luffy, the one with the chase, just so you guys know. It felt weird. I don't know why they wouldn't just put their exclusive in the image rather than, I don't know, it confused me. But anyways, anybody who shops on Funko Europe, make sure to look out for that drop tomorrow. It's probably gonna sell out pretty fast. Some quick news from Entertainment Earth. We do have a new exclusive dropping on May 25th here, just in a couple days. Now, the hint we do have is we'd love to bend the rules and make you feel like the king of secrets, but our boss is watching. Now, the only thing that really makes sense is that recently we had a King Boomy Avatar exclusive like leaked out and it was supposed to go to Entertainment Earth and we were kind of talking about this in my Discord and I didn't think it was going to be King Boomy just because the Avatar wave is slated for October of this year so why would they release one exclusive outside of that new set when we're supposed to have a Boomy common in that new set in October so it felt a little weird but at the same time if you really look at the hint here it says King and it says bending. And it's like, I mean, I feel like that's pointing towards King Boomy because he's a king and he earth bends. Or maybe I'm just overanalyzing the description they gave. Either way, we're gonna find out in a couple days. Let me know down below what your guesses are. Again, King Boomy is my guess. It makes the most sense here. Next up for Spider-Man fans, sharing from Dis Trackers and the Hawkins Reporter, we could see this exclusive dropping over at Box Lunch this week. Now this is just diamond collection of the regular common for those wondering, but if you do need this one, make sure to look out for their website and their in-store drop. Sharing over from Clueless Collectibles, here are some in-person looks at the Gotham Knight exclusives. We do have Red Hood, the Blacklight exclusive from GameStop, and the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark Batgirl here. So if you have either one of these exclusives on order from GameStop or Amazon, make sure to check your orders because they could be shipping out. As well as make sure to be checking your local GameStops for that Blacklight Red Hood if you do need them. Now sharing from one of my Facebook group members, Nico here, he did post that he found a flocked Hawks exclusive from Five Below 
for only $6. So it might be worth checking your local Five Below's if you don't have this exclusive because you can get it really cheap right now. I am a little surprised though to see Hawks at Five Below just because that one was a really popular exclusive. Some quick hot topic news over on the West Coast and East Coast, they are starting to get in their Palpatine exclusives and their Strawberry Shortcake exclusives. So make sure to check your local Hot Topic for these exclusives if you do need them. Now the last new thing we have today is that we do have a new Attack on Titan leak from a German website. Sharing from Pop Holmes, it does look like we're possibly getting a moment of Aaron and Zeke as an exclusive here. Now there are multiple moments of Aaron and Zeke, so it wasn't exactly clear as to which moment they are choosing here, but I feel like the one that makes the most sense is where they're throwing the baseball in the show. So maybe it's that one or maybe it's something completely different. Maybe it's both of them as Titans. Who really knows? But I did want to share with you guys is that we possibly have another Attack on Titan moment coming because the other one is Aaron meets Reiner from season four. So it's like two moments that feels like overkill, but hopefully they're both really great. Also, just to let you guys know with that Zeke and Aaron moment, there is no exact ETA just yet. Just stay tuned for now. Now in the last portion of this video, I did want to show you some closer looks at upcoming exclusives and common pops from Bully Boy Collectibles. So first up, some of the new Sanrio exclusives over at Hot Topic in the United States. We have Hello Kitty, Cinnamon Roll, and Pom Pom Purin, I think that's how you say that. Actually some pretty good looking exclusives and they should be hitting Hot Topic stores really soon. For my here Academia fans and anyone collecting the Villains Deluxe Hideout set, we do have Toga here. Now this one is a specialty series exclusive in the United States here, but overall I think it looks pretty good. This is one of those sets that I'm still on the fence about because I think it's gonna look really good all completed together, but it's so expensive to complete at the same time. For any Guardians of the Galaxy fans, here's an in-person look at the Star Lord album where he does have the awesome mix volume one in the background. For any Transformer fans, we already have in-person looks at the new Transformer Rise of the Beast Pops. We have Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, RC, Mirage, Optimus Primal, and Scourge. As well as we do have a look at the exclusive in the set, Rhinox here, which is a Target exclusive in the States. What's really weird about this Rhinox exclusive is that Target was selling it for like, I think like $60 or something crazy. They had like a price error on it and they still haven't fixed it. So nobody's been able to order this one. And one more for you guys, we have Indiana Jones, the Boulder Escape Scene. Check this out. This is probably one of the cooler Pop Deluxe Pops Funko has ever created. All right, guys, so those are all the updates I have for you today. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot. As well as if you're new here, subscribe and click that notification bell, especially if you like Funko news because I cover it all here. With all that being said, though, I do want to say a big shout out to all the amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 17,000 members that's by Song Trade. And make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over at Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.